we have two matrices, A and B, and we need to find their product. So we have matrix A of the size 3 by 4, which means that it contains three rows and four columns, and matrix B of the size 4 by 2, which means that it has four rows and two columns. The first thing we need to do when multiplying two matrices is to check if the number of columns of the first matrix being multiplied matches the number of the rows of the second matrix. Otherwise, the product of two matrices isn't defined. So let's see, matrix A has four columns, matrix B has four rows. Everything seems fine and the product can be found. Product matrix AB will be of the size 3 by 2. The size of the product matrix is easy to define. You simply take the first dimension of the first matrix being multiplied and the second dimension of the second matrix being multiplied. So we have a matrix of the size 3 by 2. It means that it has three rows and two columns and contains the elements C sub 1, 2, uh, C sub 1, 1, C sub 1, 2, C sub 2, 1, C sub 2, 2, C sub 3, 1, C sub 3, 2. Keeping in mind that the first index stands for the number of the row and the second stands for the number of the column. Now let's find the entries for this matrix. Element C sub 1, C sub 1, 1, I'm sorry, is found by multiplying the elements of the first row of the first matrix being multiplied and the elements of the first column of the second matrix being multiplied. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, multiplied by the column 5, 1, 2, 0. Now we'll find the sum of the products of these elements. It will go like this. 1 by 5 plus 2 by 1 plus 3 by 2 and plus 4 by 0 which equals 5 plus 2 plus 6 and plus 0 which is equal to 13. Now for the element C sub 1, 2. We'll take the first row of the first matrix being multiplied and multiply it by the second column of the second matrix. So we'll have 1, 2, 3, and 4 multiplied by the second column. Negative 1, 0, negative 3, negative 1. And it goes 1 times negative 1 plus 2 times 0 plus 3 times negative 3 and plus 4 times negative 1, which is equal to negative 1 plus 0 minus 9 minus 4, which is negative 14. So we already have the first row of our product matrix consisting of the elements 13 and negative 14. of the second row of the first matrix and the first column of the second matrix. So we have negative 1, 5, 4, and 3 multiplied by the column 5, 1, 2, and 0. Now we obtain negative 1 times 5 plus 5 times 1 plus 4 
times 2 and plus 3 times 0, which is negative 5 plus 5 plus 8 plus 0, which equals 8. C sub 2, 2 is found by multiplying the elements of the second row of the first matrix by the second with the elements of the second column of the second matrix. So we have negative 1, 5, 4, and 3 multiplied by the column negative 1, 0, negative 3, and negative 1. Now we go negative 1 times negative 1 plus 5 times 0 plus 4 times negative 3 plus 3 times negative 1 which is 1 plus 0 minus 12 and minus 3 which equals negative 14. And this is our second row. So we have 8 and negative 14 again. And here goes the last row. C sub 3, 1 is found by multiplying the elements of the third row of the first matrix by the elements of the first column of the second matrix. So we have 1, negative 2, 0, and 4 multiplied by the column 5, 1, 2, and 0. Which equals 1 times 5 plus negative 2 times 1 plus 0 times 2 plus 4 times 0, which is 5 minus 2 plus 0 and plus 0, which is equal to 3. And the last element, C sub 3, 1, equals hmm, the column 1, negative 2, 0 and 4, the row, I'm sorry, multiplied by the second column of the second matrix, which is negative 1, 0, negative 3, and negative 1. And that is equal to 1 times negative 1 plus negative 2 times 0 plus 0 times negative 3 plus 4 times negative 1, which is negative 1 plus 0, plus 0, minus 4, which equals negative 5. So we have 3 and negative 5 here. And that will be our answer.